Warriors! Come out to play! Warriors! Come out to play! Yeah! It's like that! <laughs> That's that false step. Play it! What the, whoa, that was some range here. But the Rockets, they deserve it. They've won 10 straight. They're a game back of Golden State for the 10th seed. So with 10 games left for each team, here's what the path looks like down the final stretch here. The Rockets, they must finish a game ahead of the Golden State Warriors because remember, the Warriors, they own the tiebreaker. They cannot finish with the same record. And if you look at the bottom of the screen right there, these two teams, they have one more meeting. So clear your calendars for next Thursday. I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm pulling up to that. I'm pulling up to that. Yeah, that's how excited I am to see who is the 10th seed. Zach, do you think the Golden State Warriors are going to be able to hang on and stave off the Rockets for that spot? They better keep playing well because the Rockets aren't going anywhere. I know the Rockets have a tough schedule. They got the Mavericks a couple times. They're facing a bunch of teams that need to win. This team has found something. They're playing at a turbocharged pace. Jalen Green is making the leap right before our eyes, and they are tough as hell. They seem to get in a fight every single game. They make winning plays on both ends of the floor. They've been great on both ends. Ime Odoka has crafted this into a tough defensive team. The Warriors are not going to be able to limp into the 10th seed. They're not going to be able to hang their hat on, well, we've got the head-to-head -head tiebreaker and an easier schedule. That's it. you got to come out and play because this team is not going anywhere. I agree. They uh, Their new starting five has been awesome. Jabari Smith Jr. at center has worked really well. Thompson's been really incredible. 25 and 15 last night. And Jalen Green, I don't know what's happened over the course of this last month, but all of a sudden, he, he he's so impressive. Off. Hey, if we got to give Emi Yudoka some love. Absolutely. After everything that he's gone through to be coaching this team and them doing what they're doing, it's incredible. Like, they're playing with house money. They're not nervous. They're just hooping. You know, you got my guy from LSU talking trash to the Warriors. <laughs> they have no pressure. And these, they're like them pesky kids from Scooby-Doo, man. They, <laughs> you just want them to go away, and they won't go away. And they're fun to watch and get ready to watch them for a long time. Ten wins in a row. The only other team to do that this season, the Boston Celtics. That's pretty good company to keep. Who's going to get the 10th seed, though? The Warriors or the Rockets, Danny Green? I like to go with the experience with the Warriors, but the way the Rockets are playing, it's hard to bet against them. Right. So no Sagun. Uh, Jalen Green's been stepping up unbelievable. Yeah. I uh, said so I got to give a lot of credit not only to Ime Udoka, but Dylan Brooks, Fred Van Fleet, those leaders that are getting those young guys ready and in playoff form and in shape to be ready for this playing game. But Golden State, just the, the experience and the fact that they've been there, I can't never bet against, I can't bet against that. Let's take a look here at where the East stands after last night. The Celtics, of course, sit atop. The Bucks in the standings. The Knicks, they jumped to third, though. The Cavaliers, they fell to fourth with their home loss to the Hornets last night. The Magic and the Pacers, they round out the top six. So I think it's time for a new segment here on NBA Today. We're going to call it On the Low. This is where we highlight the under the radar players, storylines, teams. I make things like players and storylines rhyme. It's a playoff picture when it's all said and done. So, Zach Lowe, who are some three sneaky teams, players, or storylines with the regular season ending in just 17 days that you're keeping your eye on here? Yeah, we're going, we're going sneaky. No Lakers, no Warriors, no Celtics. Let's start in Orlando. The most exciting under-the-radar nerd thing happening in the <laughs> NBA right now is, oh, my God, Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan Isaac is everywhere on defense. He's like having a sixth and seventh defender on the floor. He guards everybody all the time, everywhere. He's making threes on offense at a decent rate. He's more involved on offense. He is quietly, after so many years of injuries and wasted seasons due to health issues, quietly becoming the most dangerous bench player in the league, changes games for the Magic. They can't score, but this team can sure as hell defend. Yeah, he's been one of the better defenders in the league all season long. So that's the, the key for the Magic, Jonathan Isaac. I do want to stick in the East here. What's another team that we should be paying close attention to here? We know the Pacers are an incredible offensive team, even though Tyrese Halliburton hasn't been quite the same. But in the, in the last month, they've been about average on defense. And believe it or not, average is pretty good for this team. Look at all these good defensive players they have on the floor at the same time. This is Draymond Green. He's done this a million times throwing this slot. But Miles Turner, Pascal Siakam, that's a lot of length and speed. And you rarely see Draymond indecisive like that. And Miles Turner gets him at the rim. If this is a legit average defense, that's all they got to be to be dangerous. If they're average with their offense, 
They're a team that's going to be a first round upset candidate if they draw the right matchup. Yeah, their, their defense last night, it maybe wasn't as, as good as they hoped that it can be, but they've shown some flashes, some potential there. All right, yes, Zach tells me to mm, don't do that part. All right, I think we have the East pretty well covered here. What stood out to you in the Western Conference, Zach? One of the best stories in the West, the Dallas Mavericks, 9-1 and one in their last 10 games, and Kyrie and Luka are really figuring out how to maximize each other and not just go, your turn, my turn. Their chemistry is awesome. They're running a little more pick and roll together, and watch the subtleties here. First of all, if you get a switch here, it's a mismatch for Luka. No switch, but watch Kyrie. Hey, I'm going to drift over here. Hit me towards the corner. Lead me there. Colin Sexton has no idea what's coming. Luka does. Open three for Kyrie. Kyrie. This next clip is going to end in a miss. Ignore the miss. It's a good example of chemistry. Here comes Luca. How many times have we seen this? Fake the step back. Nope, I'm not taking that. I just want you to bite on the pump fake. Whoop, I'm going to fake a cut. No, I'm cutting back out for three. That's a complicated little dance that Luca does a lot. Again, he misses. But Kyrie reads that all the way, finds him for a shot. These guys are starting to think the game together. Nobody, nobody wants any part of these two dudes in a playoff series. Well, to your point,